Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to today's class all on what you really need to know and do this summer for your skin. And in particular, which rejuvenation options are gonna be the ones that are going to make a difference for your skin this summer, because let's face it, summer is full of exciting events and holidays and time at the pool, time at the beach, time with family. There's lots of weddings. There's more events happening this time of year. And also what goes hand in hand with the summertime is a little bit more sweating, maybe a little bit more humidity and definitely more sunshine. So you're in the right place to learn about all of these different things that are pertaining to the summer season. I would love to uh, first of all say hello and welcome everyone who's here for the live recording of this and love to hear about your summer questions in the chat right now. Let me know what your top skin summer rejuvenation questions are. And of course that you can hear me and see me perfectly and really excited to get into giving you some tips on what to do in the summer season from a rejuvenation perspective and what to avoid because the summertime is not generally known to be laser skin rejuvenation season. However, there are still things that we can do and that I recommend you do to keep your skin on point this summer. We don't really want to be wearing as much makeup this time of year. So this really is the time when we want to and we desire to have more clear skin, more glassy skin, smaller pores, less pigmentation to cover up, less acne to cover up, and have fewer fine lines and wrinkles, especially when we're squinting from the beautiful sunshine. And also in today's class here, I'm going to be announcing a very special promotion and ways for you to save on your your whole skin rejuvenation situation. It's not gonna be one thing, it's gonna actually save you money on tons of different things. So I warmly welcome uh, those of you who are here live. Andrea, hey Christy, Marie, Sandra, Shanna, Tamara, Carrie, and Nancy. And say hello in the chat and let me know what your questions are because that's what's so fun about doing these live is I get to answer your questions. And you have the opportunity to actually ask me questions here live. I am going to be uh, dialing back my one-on-one -on -one availability. So if you're kind of on the fence, definitely book that one-on-one -on -one with me now, ASAP over at theschoolofradiance.com and special savings, use code podcast15 for 15% 15 off. Okay, we have a question number one from Marie. Hi, what can you do to help with white spots on your face and body? Can you get back your pigmentation in those areas? Yes, you can. And this is substantiated with research. Uh, there's actually a product that's on the market that has been actually approved for vitiligo. This took a long time. Uh, vitiligo is an autoimmune condition. Autoimmune conditions are on the sharp rise year over year deaths from unknown cause, otherwise autoimmune conditions or someone passing before they have had a diagnosis has doubled in 2019. And again, in 2020, uh, based on the nationwide data here in Canada. So as a researcher, I pay attention to these things. So it's not too far of a stretch to consider that uh, things like hyper and hypopigmentation and things like vitiligo, acne, accelerated aging, um, you know, signs of inflammation, autoimmune conditions can basically begin from obviously a genetic layer, but typically from a nutrient deficiency left unchecked. So when it comes to the hyper and hypopigmentation, there are actually some nutrients that can help with what's called this more even melanin distribution. It can even assist with giving you a degree of protection from free radical damage. So from blue light, from sunlight, from pollutants and heavy metals in our air, toxins in our water, you know, the EMF situation that makes your blood clot. Um, the, these are all substantiated 
substantiated by the research on these various topics. And then, of course, nutrition, eating anti-nutrient foods. And so test instead of guess what uh, foods are right for you. That's why I love the biome test kit. That's on my biohacking page. The biohacking page over at theschoolofradiance.com is where you're going to find all of my recommended like products for you to use at home. But really focus on the purification first to get to the root cause of what's going on. So with white spots on the face and body, we call this hypopigmentation. And we tend to see this a little bit more. This is such a great question. We tend to notice this more on our arms and the legs, especially in the spring summer season, because we're wearing more short sleeve tops. We're wearing more skirts and shorts and we're seeing more of our skin and these things can kind of bug us. So there are a couple of products on my skin shop. Number one, the anti-aging dermal formula. That's got your antioxidants and omegas. This has been on the market for about 20 years. It's third-party lab tested, comes from France. So when you go on my skin shop, you are going to see that anti-aging dermal formula first and foremost on my skin shop for a reason. There are some active enzymes in there and nutrients that actually help support a more even melanin distribution throughout the body. So the hyperpigmentation, which are like sunspots and age spots and the hypopigmentation, which uh, is one of the questions that you're asking about. So to have more clear skin, we want to have a more even distribution of melanin. There's also the consideration of, in my opinion, I think things like melasma and like clusters of pigmentation on the skin can also be related to uh, how your detoxification pathways are operating. Um, that's an interesting perspective that came about in a conversation a couple of years ago with a genetic expert. And we were talking about detoxification pathways and how some of us have an easier ability to detox while some of us don't. And before even detoxing, looking at cleaning up your air, water, lighting, electromagnetics, and testing instead of guessing what you're eating is where I would start. And for this product that I'm talking about, the anti-aging dermal formula, this one's really cool because I did some research on this product a couple of years ago. This is the one product that I refer to that, you know, in four weeks I saw across the board, a reduction of redness to the skin, reduction of pigmentation, and also less redness, darkness, and puffiness to the eyes, and even less fine lines and wrinkles to the face and a more golden glow, which is really cool. So that's basically the one skin nutrient that I'm taking for the rest of my life. And that's the anti-aging dermal formula. And again, it's got you covered with a, a huge majority of the antioxidants you need. And it's also got omegas in one. So it's pretty cost effective. If you're dealing with things more like melasma, that's when the brightening formula from the same company is if you just go on my skin shop and search anti-aging dermal formula, you'll find it. If you search brightening formula, you'll find it. And uh, if you have any questions, just send me an email info at theschoolofradiance.com. Book your one-on-one, -on -one, join my tutorials. I go in depth in a lot of these different uh, topics here. Okay, uh, of course, sun protection is really key, especially this time of year to help keep your um, help prevent hyperpigmentation as well. They don't call it sunspots or age spots for nothing as well. So if you say have a lighter area like hypopigmentation, say from even having a lesion removed, um, that was some type of cancerous thing or precancerous thing, sometimes you can get some redness or hypopigmentation from that. But then in the fall winter, um, there are some options for reducing and evening out your skin tone. It's kind of like taking a magic eraser to the skin, uh, but that's not a form of rejuvenation that you can do in the summer because you might have uh, gotten a little bit of a tan. Tamara, hey, Tamara, long time one-on-one -on -one client and skincare tutorial member here. How often should I use my peels in the summer? Is two nights a week at night too much? It seems my skin is more sensitive this summer, maybe due to travel. We're going to talk about skin sensitivity for a second. You may be eating different foods, eating out. You may be having more alcohol. You may be traveling. So you're in a different environment, a different elevation, different humidity or dryness. Also, this time of year, we tend to get exposure to more pollen. And also that AC might be on a little bit more. So 
it all comes down to how much oxidative stress is in your body, the toxic bucket. When it tips over, you're going to see it with skin sensitivity, uh, more hyperpigmentation and acne and irritation in the skin things happening. So when you notice that the sensitivity is happening, I want you to really do that living really good 90 to 99% of the time, jumping in your sauna. I love the sunlight in saunas. If you're in a rental unit, the solo sauna is fantastic. Um, sunlight, in my opinion, make the best saunas. Um, and doing a great detox bath, moving your body, sweating, moving your lymphatics, and just eating on point is so incredibly key. And when it comes to this concept of skin cycling, Tamara, this is an excellent question. We have our basic routine, which is going to help to stabilize the skin. That's cleansing morning and night, a.m. and p.m. with double cleanse in the p.m., moisturizing a.m. p.m., sunscreen every day, mineral sunscreen, high real estate areas, no question, and exfoliating two to five times a week. If the skin's sensitive, lean back into your basic routine that I have optimized for you in our one-on-one -on -one session. And if the skin is a little red and irritated that day, that's not when you're going to be doing, say, a retinol, a peel, or dermal rolling. However, retinols, peel, and dermal rolling are great to do during the summertime with your at-home methods for promoting collagen, reducing pigmentation, pore size, fine lines, and wrinkles. But if the skin is sensitive, you just want to take a couple of days off from doing anything active like retinols, peels, or dermal rolling and lean into your basic routine until the skin has sort of like stabilized or chilled out a little bit. And um, the other thing I want to mention is skin sensitivities and skin things popping up can also be emotional or energetic and mental. So what's going on in your life? Are you going through a little bit more of a stressful time? Is something happening? Are you around certain people? Are you being triggered in some way that your, your body's energetics are kind of off a little bit? Because when we're a little bit more stressed out, we're dealing with things, stress is a sign of being alive. You're going to overcome this obstacle, don't you worry. Uh, but during this time when you're going through things in life, just take extra care of yourself. So taking, you know, adaptogens, that's something that I do. Uh, Organifi makes excellent adaptogenic products uh, in the form of powder. And adaptogens come from different mushrooms. So not the ones that make you trip out, <laughs> uh, not the psychoactive ones. They are the adaptogenic kinds like um, ashwagandha, amla bacopa, uh, turkey tail. There's tons of different types of adaptogens that are in the Organifi products. Um, so I love those ones. There's different flavors too. You can find those on my biohacking page or at Organifi.com forward slash Varga and use promo code Varga for 20% off. Their glow formulation right now, I just heard from the company is uh, buy two, get one free, by the way. So that's the Organifi product for adaptogens. And adaptogens are really important to, and that I take this a lot when I travel because traveling in and of itself, going to altitude, being in the airports, you know, airport food, stuff like that. And they're all going to add to your toxic bucket. So just do the best you can while you're on the move, living your best life. Delilah, do you know if the omegas in the anti-aging dermal formula takes care of our daily requirements for omegas? For me personally, I love having the peace of mind that I'm taking an omega alongside antioxidants in that. Omegas are really important for the skin. I also consume a lot of additional omegas through avocados, avocado oil, avocado mayonnaise, and also eating wild caught salmon. So I still get those omegas in my nutrition and food. And because I'm blood type O, I do really well with a little bit more of like a carnivore meat based high protein diet. So I, I get a lot of omegas in my, in my nutrition, but I do like to have that peace of mind that I'm also getting it in the anti-aging dermal formula. Great question, Delilah. Christy, are self-tanning products applied to the body legs safe? My legs are very white. Yes, so are mine. I am up here in Canada, although I did uh, utilize some melanotan last year and when I was in the South, and uh, it made me really dark. It made me really tanned, yeah, but that's not something you can get everywhere. 
What's interesting about the anti-aging longevity clinics, primarily in the South, like hubs in California and Florida, is peptides are a lot of times uh, utilized and properly prescribed, of course, and uh, it, it makes you super tanned. It works on a couple of different pathways. Your libido center, inflammatory digestion, curbs, uh, curbs your appetite, actually, and also um, increases melanin in the body, which is like this protective mechanism. Uh, melanotan was researched as an anti-skin cancer drug. Interestingly enough, but it is not currently FDA approved. But a derivative of that PT-141 on the libido center is for men for um, their sexual performance, which is very interesting. Uh, but it can still be uh, utilized uh, through clinicians in certain places where it's more common to do so. The med spas that are just way ahead of the game uh, in regards to doing the rejuvenation, doing the hormones, doing the nutrition, doing the, the peptides, adding the biohacking things. These are the clinics that are doing really well. And if you are a practitioner and a clinic owner, head on over to buildingyourbeautybrand.com and join one of my next live events with a colleague of mine and a med spa marketing expert, Christy Legorg. I'd love to meet you. And this is a free event. I'm of the mentality, a rising tide lifts all boats. This is where the med spa industry is going. And let's get you up to speed over at buildingyourbeautybrand.com and uh, register for our next live event. So getting back to the question from Christy, are self-tanning products applied to the body? Yes. In my summer seasonal tutorials, so I teach tutorials at different times of year, spring, summer, fall, and winter, because there's different things for us to do at home with our rejuvenation and our home care and also uh, in clinic for rejuvenation as well. So in the summer one that's happening now, definitely join that one because we are talking about self tanners and I do have a number of uh, excellent self tanning products on my skin shop. But in that tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to apply the product. That's what my tutorials are all about. It's showing you how to use your products so you maximize your time and money with, with utilizing them and get the best results. So that question about um, supplements, about uh, cycling in your peels, retinols, dermal rolling, sunless tanning, the rejuvenation to do now, th these are all in my tutorials. If you're listening to this and you haven't yet joined at least one of my tutorials, you're missing out because here on the show, it's more of like a macro overview. And in each of those topics I just mentioned, I teach an hour lesson on all of them so that with the intention of you becoming a more conscious consumer and really maximizing your AM and PM skincare routines, doing as much as you can in the clinic and then focusing on different things, uh, doing as much as you can at home and then focusing on different things in the clinic. So self tanners are fantastic. Uh, some of them are super toxic, but there's things that you want to do to prep your skin too. Um, this gets into the body care lesson in the tutorial. We actually talk about body peels and I'm a huge fan of the Dermalac product that's on my skin shop. This has lactic acid. This helps to transform your lizard legs, that dryness and scaliness to your lower legs, to more glassy, smooth, and hydrated looking skin. Your skin will feel just incredible the next day after you use it. And it's a great thing to do to prep before using your sunless tanners. All right, these are really great questions. So drum roll, what I wanted to mention from rejuvenation for the summer is you can definitely still be doing your peels, your retinols, your dermal rolling. Um, and then you can also be doing some resurfacing in the clinic too for more collagen, fine lines, wrinkles, pore size. And that's definitely something to consider uh, what your social schedule is like, what your work schedule is like, because you can be read with these for a couple of days. Uh, you might scare small children or your partner, so you just want to uh, forewarn them. Um, not all technologies are created equally. There's kind of like the Ferrari Rolls Royce, and then there's the Hyundais. 
So for more uh, specific names of what the lasers are that I like, I don't share that stuff publicly for a couple of reasons. So that, you know, Bill, Bob, Doug and Sally on YouTube, um, you know, they don't get access to me doing dermal rolling. They don't get access to the more higher level uh, specific recommendations that I have and know about in the technology that's the best to do right now. But in general, resurfacing is something you can do because it doesn't really matter if you have a tan, but it does matter how much sun exposure you're going to be getting after that, right? You do want to kind of avoid a lot of sun exposure for at least two weeks after having some form of in-clinic laser resurfacing. And I'm a huge fan of lasers. I think that um, lasers are one of the best things that you can do in the clinic and different times of year, there's different things you can focus on. So fall, winter, that's more like undoing sun damage. So sunspots, um, skin redness, broken capillaries, sun damage in general. Uh, there's kind of like a magic eraser type option for the fall, winter. And then in the spring and summer, uh, we still can do some of the resurfacing. So it just depends, again, what your budget is, what your schedule is like. Um, but in general, you know, your home care, skin care, peels, dermal rolling, uh, retinols are fantastic to do year long. But to answer Tamara's question about if the skin seems sensitive, dial back to your basic routine. And also some shifts to make in the summertime is you might want to switch to uh, make sure you're using an antioxidant serum in the summertime because it's going to gobble up some of the free radicals that slip through your mineral sunscreen. There's no such thing as a block, like a sun block, it's a screen. And that is why it's so important to cleanse eye cream, antioxidant serum, moisturizer, sunscreen in the daytime, in the summertime, because that serum is gonna bump up your hydration, but it's also going to put more antioxidants on your skin to uh, then filter out and gobble up some of those free radicals that slip through your sunscreen. Super key. Uh, also, for those of you who are here live, I'm going to drop a special link in the chat. Click that link, uh, let's connect, and I'll give you some, I'll provide some direction on uh, which options and strategies for your skin and rejuvenation are going to get you uh, what you're wanting and make sure it's a good fit because I'm not for everybody. I'm not for everybody. I'm for those who really want to look at getting the best skin and focusing more on skin health and uh, are, are willing to not waste time and money. <laughs> I love saving people time and money. All right. So what I wanted to share as the uh, promotion and special here is for those of you who join the membership for a very limited time, I'm also going to be granting access to my Glow 365 tutorials. Okay, so the membership is where we go really deep on presentation, communication, negotiation, posture, walking, etiquette, how to show up, how to put all these pieces together from what you've learned in consultation and tutorials with using better products, with optimizing your use with them, and then how you actually show up and speak and present. As your most radiant version, we go really deep into detoxing and other things as well. And for those of you who sign up for the membership now and use that link if you have any questions um, to see if the membership is right for you, register now for the membership and I'm automatically going to give you access into the Glow 365 tutorials, which gives you year long access to tutorials. So I do tutorials seasonally. And then I also have a year long access option. So you get all four seasons, you pay for about two and a half tutorials and get one and a half tutorials for free because there's four seasons. And so the Glow 365 is a great way to save. And for a very limited time, I'm gonna be granting those who register for the membership Glow 365 access as well. Very limited time. Uh, I'm gonna be capping it after a certain number of you who register. And so if you want to do tutorials, if you want to do the membership, if you're ready to take that next step to truly care for yourself in deeper ways, and you kind of know that I leave a lot of stuff out here on the free stuff, 
this is where we go deep. We go live in the membership twice a month, talking about whatever you want to talk about. And then there's various different lessons in there to get you up to speed with how to communicate effectively, what to do with your hands, what to do with your feet, how to basically go into a situation, feel your most confident self and have really great things happen in your life because you're showing up in a more improved, higher and radiant way. You become like a magnet for more job opportunities, for better relationships, for just better things happening in your life because you are working on yourself and really optimizing how you are operating. And it's just incredible to become radiant yourself. And it's taken me 10 years to learn and observe what this radiant stuff is and who's doing it, why they look so much better in their 60s to 90s than those in their 20s and 30s. What's going on? It's the behind the scenes stuff that makes a huge impact. And this stuff goes really deep. So if you're ready to go deep, the membership, Tamara, I know you're ready. And uh, for a limited time, you get the Glow 365 option. So let me know if you have any questions. Use that link in the chat. And uh, if you want to just ask me, you know, what's included? Is it a good fit for you? I'm happy to answer all of those questions. There's a painful option. There's also a payment plan. So summertime, optimize your home care. Anti-aging dermal formula great to give your body that antioxidant protection through that uh, gobbling up of free radicals because you're going to be outside more. Focusing on your body care is really important. So doing body peels, sunless tanners, yes, but doing, you know, potentially some in-clinic resurfacing is also great. And for those of you who are on the fence about booking the one-on-one with me, I'm not going to be offering these one-on-ones forever. My schedule is changing. The code to book a one-on-one is podcast15, podcast15, and you can find everything over at theschoolofradiance.com. I'm thrilled you're here. You're already on the right track to making better decisions, to being a more conscious consumer, and you're going to become far too intelligent to fall for these skin marketing ploys for this, you know, new latest and greatest skincare product and gadget and gizmo and rejuvenation thing that's only been on the market like a year, right? You want to become more conscious and also identify what your skin goals are and then have the plan to help you achieve your goals and then have myself in your back pocket, like your secret best friend to help guide you and mentor you and keep you really on that straight and narrow and not deviate because these, these uh, deviations can become expensive with your time and money with, you know, trying to research different things with what different people say on YouTube and buying all these toxic products and products that don't work. They go to the drawer where products go to die. The, the beauty industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. It continues to grow. It's very attractive to hedge fund investors with acquiring skincare brands and med spas. So now is it's actually more important than ever to become more discerning, to become more educated, and just simply follow basic practices that aren't overly complicated, but master your basic to advanced layers. So that's why you're here. And also that beauty and radiance from the inside out for skin health and healthy skin. And of course, what we talk about here is not medical advice. It's educational information only. If you think you have a medical condition, you must seek the guidance of a licensed physician. Thanks everybody for joining me here on the School of Radiance podcast. I look forward to meeting with a number of you very soon. Look forward to seeing your registrations come through in the membership. And then I will be for a limited time granting you access to the 365 option. And this is you taking the step towards knowing that you're worth it. This isn't about feeling vain. This is about caring for the largest organ of your body and showing you how to show up in a radiant way so that you care for yourself, so that you can care for others better and continue to perpetuate that of service mentality, a rising tide lifts all boats. The world needs more of us humans who are operating in a more luminous, brighter way with um, a higher degree of countenance in the world, more balanced, more mature, more evolved humans that know how to get stuff done. We achieve what we desire and we have fun in the process and look fantastic in the process. Love you all so much. And I'll see you again right here on the School of Radiance podcast.